Well, I think the uh, critical outcome that we need to look for for below the knee interventions is really to understand wound healing and the speed at which that happens. Most of the trials that have been done have looked at limb salvage, which is the end point that the patients care about, is their limb on or not? I think that the other question really is, do we really care about patency? In the past, because patency has been so low in the low, below the knee interventions that we really haven't focused on it, I think if we had the ability to have a procedure where patency was paramount, we probably would see that wound healing would be much faster and probably much better. So the combination of patency along with wound healing would be probably the best option that we would have. So the, the real key to device development in the below the knee territory is getting devices that successfully traverse long total occlusions in the below the knee territory. These are typically diffuse or occlusive usually calcified lesions, and the success rate is really determined by the ability to get through the vessel. So good wires, especially stiff, torqueable wires that get you through a total occlusion, some devices that get you through total occlusions with staying in the intraluminal space. This is not a territory like the SFA where a subintimal approach is probably as good. This is, some, this is an area where long balloons, potentially balloons that don't require the, the uh, requirement of stenting in addition to them, like potentially drug-eluting balloons, might make a big difference. But the key is getting through long lesions successfully and tracking in the lumen without going subintimal and then following with a result that does not require a prosthetic stent or otherwise in these cases.